when you find heaven on earth. It can get really quiet out here. There may be no reason to leave. There's nothing like this. Frank Lee Ruggles basks in his corner of Blue Ridge Bliss, a 33-acre ranch in Madison County. That's old Rag Mountain. Thousands of people go up there every week in the summer times, thousands. But Frank's impatience is always tugging him away. I look forward to the day where I can occupy a rocking chair for more than half an hour. Like the cool waters of a flowing creek. I can't just ever sit. This 53-year-old needs to move. I'm a busybody. <laughs> I'm a busybody. Frank isn't keen watching the world go by. He would rather photograph it. Photography gives you the power to tell a story like no other. Frank's calling, capture the masterpieces of Mother Nature on film. As a photographer, it's hard to turn off the camera in my head. Frank invites everyone along for the ride. I never want to photograph what a place looks like. I want to photograph what a place feels like. Frank returns to America's natural wonders year after year. You know, photography is not only my bread and butter, but it's my purpose in life. His specialty, national parks. One of the greatest feelings in the world is walking into a new park for the first time. His months-long photo safaris stretch from Maine to Montana and Yosemite to Yellowstone. You know that Johnny Cash song by Hank Snow? I've been everywhere. Man, Johnny Cash ain't got nothing on me. Frank goes to great lengths and heights to capture an image. Yes, all 50 U.S. states. Being an outdoors, just in general, is my baseline. His limited prints sell for thousands of dollars. Quite a sum, considering Frank doesn't have a degree in photography. I have no training as a photographer. I'm completely self-taught. This is Zabriskie Point in Death Valley. Chasing Light is a collection of some of his favorites. A lot of people might think it's a coffee table book. To me, this is my love letter to America. Becoming a photographer literally happened by accident. In a past life, this soldier jumped out of airplanes. But a parachute mishap in the 1980s cut his career short. Frank's life spiraled downward even further. I found myself, embarrassingly, as a disabled veteran with no civilian skills, I was homeless for seven months. I slept on a park bench for seven months. The Ohio native had just the clothes on his back until he picked up a camera. It was magic. It was the first time I ever felt the same magic that I felt when I was jumping out of airplanes. Instead of a machine gun, Frank started shooting pictures, and lots of them. It's my happy place. Life for this grounded paratrooper started looking up. And when I'm not there, I'm thinking about being there. Frank's second career came into focus when he accepted a job as a National Park Service photographer in 2007. I went everywhere and I saw everything. Now independent Frank, isn't just taking pictures for beauty's sake. He is using his eye to send a warning. Our parks are in danger, and it's not just from climate change, and it's not just from vandalism, it's from encroachment. Turning back the hands of time, Frank is carrying the torch like so many nature photographers who have come before him. They blazed a trail, and then they invited people to follow them. For three years, Frank has been tracking the footsteps of famed photographer and conservationist Ansel Adams. The entire process is a, is a treasure hunt. In 1941, Adams photographed places like Grand Teton and the Grand Canyon. Although Adams wrote down what park he was in, he didn't say where in the park he was. Frank has been searching for the exact locations. Found about 60 out of the 150 so far. It is called the 79-Year Project. Then people can look at these two images and they can see what has changed over one lifetime. And that's the gist of the 79 Years Project. Frank shudders to think what the future holds for our national parks. But also Glacier is the park I think that is the most endangered. 
When Adams shot it in 1941, we had over 100 active glaciers, and now we're down to 19. Conservation drives this modern-day photographer who chooses old-school technology. There's no digital camera in the world that can touch that resolution. This is 4,000 megapixels. Frank hopes his images help others develop a love of nature. If I were a singer, I would sing about the national parks. If I was a poet, I would write poetry about the national parks. I'm a photographer. This soldier turned photographer's love of country still runs deep. This is an extension of my service. This is, I'm still serving. I took an oath. It didn't have an expiration date. I'm still serving. I'm just doing it a little different. Frank Lee Ruggles, a colorful artist in perpetual motion. I could probably do this for another 40 years. Preserving our national treasures in black and white. So I know I'm not gonna ever save the national parks by myself, I'm one guy. But I'm gonna do everything I can do to try to move the needle a little bit. I'm gonna do everything I can to try to make a difference.